Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine. I'm here with James Rodriguez, the president and CEO of Atlas Ocean Voyages. We've had him on before. We're going to learn all about uh, Atlas to date, which is still a young company that's growing and has news to report. And this is Insider Travel Report. James, thanks for talking. Oh, you're very welcome. Anytime. So um, what's really, I think, understated here is that you were a travel advisor and we're going out to 125,000 of them and that you were with Crystal and Oceana. Right. And and so my first question is, um, did you borrow from your training to come up with the fact that you started as a luxury line and then you said, wait a minute, I want to reassess this. And I know Oceana did that, too. Tell me tell me about how that came to be. Uh, well, I think the uh, concept, I mean, I came from the trade side. So everything that we do at Atlas is really focused on how the trade actually presents us and easily communicates our value proposition to to the trade. Um, so where we position ourselves in the market is really this kind of uh, right in between the heavy expedition players and also the luxury players out there. We believe we offer a hybrid experience from a luxury experience, but also heavy expedition if that's what somebody chooses. I think today's world coming out of the post pandemic, um, you have people who really want to engage with these areas that we go to. And so if uh, guests are coming and because of the explosion of the expedition market, um, you have all types of different travel personalities and travel desires coming on board. So we want to make sure that our product is that hybrid product that offers the best of what cruise offers and also best of what heavy expedition offers. But I'm giving you credit for that because I believe when you took the reins in August that it was it's going to be more in the luxury space and you saw the niche was here. Yeah, I think that uh, today's traveler is a much more active traveler. Um, so we wanted a, a, a guest experience that was much more engaging, uh, much more active versus uh, passive travel. We take both um, types of travel personalities, whether somebody wants to come on, lay out by the pool, go to our spa, which is we have the only L'Occitane spa at sea. Uh, if they want to do that, that's great. But if they also want to go camping in, in Antarctica or they want to do a Epicurean expedition in the Med, we have those as well. So um, let's let's talk about the, the whole the whole cruise line started in 2019. Right. And you actually uh, during during uh, the pause, you started with uh, World Navigator, World Traveler and World Voyager. And then you have a new ship coming. Let's first talk about the other three and then talk about the new. Sure. Well, World Navigator was our first vessel. Um, second, we just took possession of World Traveler last November. Both of those um, vessels went down to Antarctica, did an Antarctica season this past season, which is our first full year season of uh, traveling. Then um, this, uh, this September, uh, we take possession of World uh, Voyager. <laughs> and then a year from now, probably September uh, of 2025, we'll take the we'll take delivery of our newest vessel, which is going to be World Seeker. And then two more consecutive after that. And so I, I believe you're going to say what makes you different is that you're the yacht experience and that you can do things uh, uh, from a yacht perspective and, and the guests. In fact, our travel advisor should be aware of that. Let's talk more. Yeah, I think the size of our vessels are a yacht style experience, but I think our differentiator differentiator in the market is really the year round expedition program that we have. So we're taking the expedition experience from just the polar regions and taking it to other regions of the world as well. So when we're in the Med, we have Epicurean expeditions. Um, we also are going to be introducing our cultural expeditions. So anywhere in the world, um, Atlas, you have three expedition types. You have polar expeditions, Epicurean expeditions and cultural expeditions. That's great. Uh, and what's great about these ships also, it's, it's always it's like 184 like under 200 you know, right. we say safely and um and it's all inclusive and there's a lot of value there absolutely our onboard experience is all inclusive so all the dining experiences the the wines the beers the premium liquors are all included on on our voyages uh, in the expedition space in the polar regions all of the landings are also complimentary they're included in the in the cost of the the voyage um, and then we also on every one of our voyages whether they be an epicurean expedition a cultural expedition um, we have a free cultural immersion event that we have for the entire vessel now did we bang the drum loudly enough about the fact that you're not just polar 
<laughs> I'm not, let's but, talk about more. Let's talk about more of your itineraries, please. Yeah, I mean, I think that the these vessels were built for the polar regions, for Antarctica and for the Arctic. But because we have many new to guest, new to cruise um, guests, these guests also come on board. We kind of dispel the myth of what cruising uh, they thought cruising was. They really enjoyed the experience, and they really want to go to other places in the world and to in different regions of the world with us uh, because of our style of cruising because it's small. It less than 200 guests um, they get more of an immersive experience when they go to some of these places so the immediate question after about halfway through their antarctica or their arctic voyage is where else yeah, do you go right. so so are you finding uh, that new to cruise is is being attracted especially for the expedition space i mean we're the only way you can actually get to um antarctica or to the arctic is through a cruise experience yeah. so we get a lot of new to cruise um, but we also in the Med Mediterranean and other regions that we go to, we get a lot of experienced cruisers who really want more of an intimate experience, a smaller uh, ship experience. Um, with less than 200 guests, we're able to offer that to them. When we last spoke to you, we knew that you were building an agent portal, that your web experience was getting better and better. So let's talk to our travel advisors about uh, where they should go and what they should do to learn more and get involved. Well, you know, technology is a big um uh, project for us. We want to make sure that we have the latest technology coming from the trade side of the business. I know what travel advisors go through each and every day. They have lots of products out there that they have to uh, work with. And so we want to make our product easy to sell, uh, not only from a verbal sell, but also online. So we're working very diligently on improving our agent portal. Um, we're also working on APIs and online booking systems so that our travel advisors can actually book easily online. And as an ex-travel advisor, you knew that was a pain point. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so now, are there any promotions travel advisors should be aware of, both for guests and for themselves? Uh, well, we have our, our brand offer, which is Second Guest Sales Free, which is it really resonates with consumers out there because it's the first step into getting into asking about Atlas. Um, so that's the first uh, step. But we have some air promotions that we have as well. Uh, we have a, a bonus savings that we offer our guests as well. And also, depending on which consortia you're with, you also get a extra benefit. Okay. So uh, what's the portal address or do they go to the main website? They go to the main website, yes. Which is? Uh, AtlasOceanVoyages.com. Okay. And so uh, is there anything else? We're going out to 125,000 travel advisors every day, holidays included. <laughs> is there anything else you want them to know? Well, I just think from our brand positioning, it's really important to understand that we're a year round expedition product, that no matter where in the world that we're traveling, it's an expedition. It's not just a cruise. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.